Hi, my name is Edmund Chow. I'm right now in the middle of Fontainebleau Forest in France. And as you can see behind me, you have the brown leaves, the orange leaves that have fallen. And that's also because it's the fall, it's autumn, and it's the right season and the right time of the year where the leaves change colors, sort of die off. And then in the next year, you see a new vibrant green coming up, right? But of course, if you see that whole cycle, you notice that this cycle can also be related to life, right? Life going through a cycle of seasons. So for example, we have looked at spring as birth. We have looked at uh, summer as youth. We have looked at autumn as old age and winter as death. And then it comes back together in one round. And if you really analyze that, we really use metaphors in our speech every day because that's how we make sense of different things. And that's the way we communicate. And as a leader or entrepreneur or speaker, you need to learn to develop your metaphors richly in a way that inspire action, in a way that help paint a picture for the future. You probably have heard entrepreneurs use the metaphor of their vehicle as a system, or I would say the system as a vehicle, right? So you have heard people saying, you have been from here to here using this vehicle, but this vehicle may not be able to take you there. So therefore you need to change your vehicle or change and adopt their system towards success. And therefore you need to get into their business model. Right? So if you look at that analogy in itself, it is a metaphor. And the metaphor uses the system as a vehicle. But let's, let's critique that a little bit because that becomes a little too simplified, too simplistic. Because that journey in itself is also very rich. We want to take a look at how you can explore and expand the metaphors. For example, on that journey, has it been an uphill climb? Has it been a struggle? Is the road rocky and to mountains and in a way that slows down your growth, slows down your pace? Or has it been smooth sailing, right? So even love can be looked at it in that way. You know, you and I, for example, let's say me and my partner are going through a very a difficult time ahead. So we might think that, oh, there is no end in sight. Again, that's the destination, isn't it? There's no end in sight. Where are we going with this relationship? Or where are we going with your vision or with this organization? So again, we're looking at destination at, as the end point. So a lot of people want to know what the end point is, but you also want to be able to create that path to reaching that end point. So as you create that path, you need to now analyze and look at the vehicles. What kind of brand is it? What kind of make or model is that vehicle? Is it a manual or auto shift gear? Or is it a, does it have safety uh, gadgets in terms of safety belts? Does it have a rear view mirror, side mirrors, etc.? Do you have passengers coming along with you? Uh, do you have music that helps you uh, enjoy the ride? Or is it a solitary ride where you're just the solo driver driving through the nighttime without any headlights or fog lights, for example? And outside your car, do you have pedestrians walking? Do you have animals coming in suddenly? Do you have police officers patrolling the area? Are there bumpy humps that slow down your progress? So as you look at your vehicle and your system, Try to find a way to help your customers, your passengers, your teammates, your organization maneuver all these little bumps ahead. So you need to predict what these bumps are and what are the safety measures you need to have in place before they come on the ride with you. And again, I'm using all these words very, very strategically because I'm using the journey as a metaphor. And if you come with me 
on this workshop on 2nd December, you're going to explore a lot more on how to use metaphors effectively in public speaking and storytelling. So signing off here in Fontainebleau, this is Edmund Chow.